In the flight to Egypt, uh, there are different reasons why I chose that theme. Uh, first of all, I had done the triptych. It's a series of three long panels that show the Nativity, the Epiphany, and the Shepherds. And those are inspired by the Mexican Nacimiento that's like a, at Christmas they do like a panorama of many scenes of the Christmas story in their homes. And, um, and then also I was inspired by the opera by John Carlo Minotti called Amal and the Night Visitors, which, it, which I saw as a young, a young person. And that idea and that story stayed with me so that when I did these three panels, they're interconnected. Then, uh, be, because those panels had been done in the 80s, I decided to continue with that. So this is in 2003, I did the flight to Egypt. And it's the same uh, uh, long panel. They're, they're, so it fits so that if they were to put, be put together on a wall, they would all be the same size. So they're like windows. And I look at the flight to Egypt, it's about immigration and immigrants and poor people trying to find a place. And not only do I see the Holy Family, but I see millions of people all around the world having to flee for a different circumstances and how we have to be able to have more compassion. And also I see my father and my mother were both immigrants. My father was from Sweden and my mother was from Mexico. And I see the plight of people so then I can have empathy when I read the story. The flight to Egypt, I did several um, drawings and this one is a, um, is a sketch done in 1989, uh, thinking what would it look like and how would I capture that scene. Then in uh, 2002, I started to develop the idea of doing the silk screen. And these are some of the these are some of the color breakdowns. We ended up doing a print with 47 colors, but this is like uh, colors 39 and 40, two different colors printed. One one was an opaque color, and another was a transparent color. The opaque colors like these would set on top of the image that we're going to print, and then the the transparent colors would would deepen and, and change the palette of the colors underneath. So if I put like a, a bright yellow that's opaque, then later on I would glaze over it with another, uh, like an orange or an ochre, then it, would, it wouldn't be so bright, but yet it would still have the, a luster. And like I would put like a real uh, opaque color here, and that opaque color I could uh, put another varnish or a glaze over that with a transparent color. But see how eventually uh, I use the opaque colors and transparent colors to keep layering and getting a deeper colors. These are early colors, but you could see how uh, there's three different colors here. You can see how I cover areas and then I punctuate areas. This would have been an opaque color, this red, cadmium red. And the, uh, this gold here was also an opaque color. And that, that uh, green would be covering uh, all the trees and, and, the le and the grasses. But you can see how I, I use the color everywhere I can. Uh, even up here, there's like stars that are with this red and then the this uh, transparent yellow that's in the the angels and I'm using it to make create patterns so this would be a, with about uh, 25 colors printed but you can see how rough it it all is and how I'm testing colors to see which which palette I'm going for. In the night, I put a lot of stars, but there were many more stars to go. And this one, you can see where I've got a lot of white. There's like white elements right in here. And those would eventually be covered with the glaze. 
so that you would see them, but they wouldn't be so obvious as when when I've um, when they're with white. And you can see here. There's uh, on this area, you can see the the uh, the the blanket of the child. It's like white and yellow, and that will all be glazed over so that it will it will read differently. And the trees also have like a lighter green or lighter a white and yellow. And those will all be covered with a transparent green so that you'll get like a range of light and also it'll be um, more shimmery. At the end, it had 47 colors. And you can see how I, I used um, glazes of this deep yellow, of transparent yellow to give it a luster and deepen the color. And I would use it on the, so the greens to make the greens more, have a variety of greens on top, of the yellow on top of the green, the blues on top of the greens, uh, maybe even red on the edges of the greens so that they would uh, get darker. And I uh, see the perspective is here they are. The angels are coming in to protect them. They're bringing lamps. And then, um, there's this long passageway through the forest with, with animals and also there's a, a figure here, a traveler. And then far away in the city is the soldiers. They're looking for this child, so they're going from house to house. Here's a shepherd just sitting on the hill. Here's the, the beautiful orchards. And then here is the town, the entrance to the town, and the soldiers are, are there waiting to go in to find that child. And here's the, this very uh, dense town with a lot of buildings. Then you can see the, 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 uh, the stars. I try to make it as complex and, and have as many constellations and different uh, star and um, planets. And then here are the angels flying in to try to help. Uh, you can see there's lots of uh, patterns and little details in their, in their clothing.